Hi, my name is Melissa Betty Adley. Um, I have been an egg donor several times over the past eight years. Um, I've worked with CFA, working with exclusive couples who are taking the eggs and becoming pregnant themselves, and I've worked with CFA through Circle as well for both homosexual and heterosexual couples with surrogacy. I initially became an egg donor in 2003, and it was very, very different than it is now. Um, the screening process was more timely. It took a long time. And, I mean, I was 21, so everything took a long time. Um, it was pretty much all anonymous at that point, and almost really not spoken of to have an, a known donor cycle. Um, and I was okay with that. I mean, I was very young. I was probably a little ambivalent. I thought, I'm going to change the world, and, you know, it wasn't really the case. Um, I'm sure I did change some people's world, but I really, as much as I was educated, didn't know what I was getting into. Um, I mean, the clinic, they did a wonderful job, but I was a 21-year-old kid, and I didn't have as much life experience as I really had thought. Um, it's... It was a big emotional roller coaster, and I loved every minute of it now. At that point, I didn't think I probably was able to handle it, but I was. I was much stronger. And um, it was amazing. The medical process um, was several months at that point. Papers, genetic counseling, psychological counseling, which was, like I said, more than I thought. And as much as I was educated, it was still a lot for a young kid. Um, my first cycle was anonymous, like I said, and I felt really great afterwards. Um, I, I've been very lucky to have a strong, supportive family. Um, they refer to me as the hatchery, <laughs> so um, it's quite entertaining. Um, my last two cycles produced both twins in the past um, two years. And my actual last cycle, one is pregnant with twins now, and the other is a shared cycle. So we have donor eggs in the bank for them when they're ready. The last two cycles also were known, so I was able to speak with the couples. One was a couple and one was a, um, a single man, and it was very different and much, much better for me to get that satisfaction to hear you know, how excited they were, and it really helped me ease through the cycle to know that I know where, where this is going, I know where this baby's going, where babies, and um, I really enjoyed working with the couples and the gentlemen as well. Um, I felt throughout the whole time the team at both CFA and Circle was extremely supportive. Um, I had many questions and many answers, which was wonderful, and I never felt that there was a time that I couldn't call one of the physicians on a Saturday afternoon and say, hey, you know, I'm not really sure what's going on. Can you help me? Or, you know, I'm feeling this way. Can, can I talk to someone? And I think that that's huge. Um, they've actually reached out to me now and said, hey, we have some donors with questions. How, how do you feel about maybe letting someone talk to you, in my experience? And it's wonderful. I prefer a lot of girls that I've known to be donors, and I've heard a lot of slap over the years from people who have different views, and I don't think I could have handled things any differently other than support what I believe in, and the way that I felt, and the journey that I've been through as a donor. That's really all.